Ten things you must absolutely give up saying if you want to be super successful. This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you might be listening to this special Law of Attraction podcast. I am your miracle mentor, your mentor of light, Robert Zink. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Look, I understand that you are a high flyer, that you are soaring in the direction of your dreams and goals. But there may be a few things that you're saying either to yourself or to others that, well, these things are holding you back. They're hurting your manifesting power. They're hurting your ego power, so to speak. And I want to help you get to that highest version of yourself, the highest vibration you can possibly be. And of course that always involves working internally. The door to mastery always goes inward. It never goes outward. So we're never looking at what other people say or do. We're always looking at what we feel and what we vibrate. The 10 things I'm going to share with you statements that you need to give up are things that low vibrators, people that never get off the ground say all the time. So if you find yourself saying them, stop it, write them down and uh, maybe put a rubber band around your wrist to remind you not to say these 10 things. Okay. So the first one is. I can get to that later. I'll do it later. You know, there's always tomorrow, right? And, um, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it the next day. That's what, that's what people that never get off the ground say, you know, people that are high flyers, people that are moving in the direction of their dreams and goals that are building empires, building big companies. They're doing it now, doing it now. I love those three words. Do it now because doing it later just creates a habit of procrastination, you know, and you see this with people who they really want to change. They really want to bring transformation to their life. I talk to them on the phone and we talk about a mentoring program, for example, and they go, well, I wondering about if I started next month, you know, and they just look for ways to put things off. It's, I had a friend and she is, um, she's in a nursing home right now and, uh, she's fighting a terminal disease. But for 20 years, all I heard from her was my passion is to open up an herb store. I want to open up a store and sell herbs. And I said, what's stopping you from doing it right now? Start, you know, get, start out of your home, start out of your front room and then move into a small little shop that you share with someone and then into your own place, but get started. Well, I will. I plan to do that next month. Well, in her case, next month never came. Tomorrow never came. So procrastination is a it's a disease that you must eradicate from your energy field in your mind, in your thinking in order to truly master success and move in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Number two, I give up. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm done with it. You know, I think about this. What if Thomas Edison had given up on the electric light bulb. What if Michael Jordan had given up on basketball? You know what I'm saying? There are thousands and 
thousands and thousands of success cases of people that never gave up. I have a, uh, I always talk about her because I'm so proud of her. I have a lady who never gave up on the man that she loved. When everybody told her she was an absolute nut and almost two years went by, they never talked to each other. They never communicated. I said, don't give up. She said, I agree. That's why I called you. We began creating her vibration, working on her vibration. And he called her. She refused to give up on love. Have you given up on love? Have you given up on success? Have you given up on money? Have you given up on your career, on your dreams? Wow. Okay. We're, we're getting heavy today, aren't we? Okay. Let's keep going. Are you ready for this one? I got to do this in a voice. It's not my fault. Look. If you are driving through an intersection and somebody runs a red light and hits you, it's not your fault, but you attracted it. You have to take responsibility for everything you attract in your life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The law of attraction is not some secret magical code. It's not some secret gimmick that you can turn on and off. You are practicing the law of attraction all the time, every day, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed and in between. You are practicing the law of attraction because it is a law. And everything that is in your life, your breakups, your financial downturns, whatever it is, you have attracted. Now, with that in mind, some things may not be your fault, but you still attracted them. Once you give up old limiting, tired beliefs, you'll start attracting new things. And that's how it works. You are a co-creator of your reality. You are, you have the potential to be a master manifester. The God force energy of the universe is within you. What you do with it is up to you. You are about to experience a miracle. Claim your free 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Visit www.lawofattractionsolutions.com. This is the number one podcast on personal empowerment, success, and the law of attraction. You're listening to the Miracle Mentor of Light, Robert Zink. Well, the next one is it's okay. It's cool. It's okay. And it's okay means that, well, it's not really good. It's not really bad, but we'll be, we'll be okay with it. We'll get by with it. Uh, that's not good enough for a high flyer like you. You're shooting for something special. You're shooting to leave a legacy. And so just okay is not something you ever want to say. It's good enough. No. Focus on your dreams and your goals. Shoot as high as you possibly can. And anything less than that is just okay. And that's not you. I have plenty of time. Robert, what are you talking about? I have plenty of time. Well, look at life has a way of getting in the way sometimes. You know, I started on a book many years ago, which is out now on Amazon called the Ruach Healing Method, Magical Energy Healing. And I started it over 20, I don't know, 22 years ago, 23 years ago. And when Rachel and I moved in together, she saw at least 10 starts of that book, different starts that I had said, well, I had plenty of time. I can do this later, but it doesn't work that way. If you're starting a book today, you better plan to finish it as soon as possible. Keep writing it, get it done. In other words, 
You don't have plenty of time. Life goes by pretty fast. And your idea that you have today may be great today, but may be outdated tomorrow. Well, the next one is, I, I really hope, I hope and pray that I, that I'm successful someday. Well, you can hope you can pray, but I want you to think a little bit more like Yoda in star Wars. There is no try. You're either going to do this or you're not. If you are determined to be a successful actor or actress, you're going to do it. If you're determined to be a successful architect, you're going to do it. There's no trying to do it. You either do it or you don't. And you may run into obstacles. You may run into all kinds. You know, I just got a, a new Jeep. And one of the reasons I got a Jeep is because Jeeps go over obstacles. And so I wanted to literally drive something that kind of represented a belief system that obstacles are made to challenge. Limiting beliefs are made to challenge. Well, I could never be in business for myself. I mean, this is the next one. Number seven, I could never be in business for myself. I just don't have the skills for that. Well, you may not have the skills for that today, but you can develop the skills. You can acquire the specialized knowledge you need. You can set long-term goals, medium-term goals, and micro goals and get started today. There are so many people who are successful in business who never really thought of themselves as business people. They thought of themselves as creators, as artists, as inventors, as entrepreneurs. You can do it. That's a belief. And that's a belief that successful people don't have. So give it up. Well, how about this one? I'm Robert. You know, I, I love what you're talking about. I'm just not talented enough. Well, the world is filled with talented derelicts. There are talented derelicts all over the world that have incredible talent. It has less to do with talent and more to do with desire. Increase your desire. Number nine, here's the ninth one that you need to give up. There's no such thing as new ideas. There's nothing new. It's all been invented. Well, I remember the guy who used to make the buggy whip saying that at one time. You are connected to infinite source energy. I encourage you to spend 15 to 20 minutes each and every day meditating with that source energy. Because in meditation with divine source or infinite source or God force energy, that energy will open up your brain and your energy field and your visualization to see things that you never thought possible. And you can be at the cutting edge of whatever it is you desire to do, whether it's art, whether it's helping other people, whether it's medicine. You have no boundaries. You have no limits other than the ones that you place on yourself. Well, number 10 is <laughs> I'm just a faker. I'm not real. And I'm worried that people are going to find out about it someday. What if people find out that I really don't know what the hell I'm talking about? What do I do then? You know, look, you have a message. As Joseph Campbell said, you have a song to sing in your life and don't go to your grave with your song still inside you. You can't be an imposter or a faker. If you are yourself, you have the power to be the very best potential and version of who you really are. And nobody can ever challenge that. Not you, not anyone else. So never worry about that. 
you were called to greatness at something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's your relationship. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe you were called to be the best husband in the world. You know, it's so important that we reaffirm what we desire on a regular basis. And, and we do it every day, every single day, every single day. People say, well, Robert, how often should I say my affirmations three times a day, five times a day? I say my affirmations all day long because I'm not giving my limiting beliefs or my doubts and fears any room to grow. Do you understand? So when I walk in and I see my, my little nine month old playing in the front room and I go to pick him up, I'm affirming. I'm a great dad. I'm a loving dad. I'm a great protector. I'm strong and I'm healthy to take care of my son. Do you see what I'm saying? It's constant affirmation. And all of these, in a way, these 10 statements are negative affirmations. Never say them, write them down, listen to this one again and write them down and then affirm the opposite, affirm the positive. Okay. For example, I'll do it later. Simply write down, do it now, do it now. Okay. You can do that. And you do that with everything, with every negative, you, you write it down, you argue against it, and then you invert it into the positive. Oh, you're going to start flying higher than you've ever been before. Trust me. Are you ready? Get on your oxygen mask because you're going to the top. Hey, I want to remind you to be sure and subscribe to us on YouTube, Stitcher, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio. We're coming up on Alexa pretty soon. So thank you so much for listening. And uh, hey, have a great day because you absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye now.